to our Neurodiversity Matters Conference. Uh, I'm Teddy Lytle, Community Engagement Director for Spectrum Theater Ensemble. Uh, at this moment, we wanted to take a second to uh, uh, talk to you about some workshops we've developed that we have available. Uh, STE wants to share its mission of inclusion and our belief that the performing arts are vital to society's well being and growth. We are a hybrid artist theater company, meaning we use art in hopes of benefiting the needs of our immediate community, and in this case, the neurodivergent community. Uh, to that end, we have developed three workshops that can be brought to institutions or universities or done online to respect social distancing. The first one we have is Off Grid, Viewpoints and the Spectrum. STE artistic director Clay Martin worked directly with Ann Bogart and Tina Landau to use viewpoints to clarify the relationship between the theatrical vocabulary and how to best utilize it in working with neurodivergent communities. We will focus on spatial relation, time, and kinesthetic response as effective tools in codifying sensory input on and off the stage, much like we were talking about earlier in our workshop, uh, viewpoints to teaching social distancing. Uh, but this encompasses uh, theatrical creation as well as social benefits to that. Our second workshop we call Hybrid Engines, and we were lucky enough to uh, uh, bring this to uh, Salem uh, College um, of, uh, back, seems like years ago, but only a few months ago, uh, and Hybrid Engines. Why do we tell stories? What are other passions drive you to create art? We will show you how to utilize outside departments in your university to create theater with purpose, develop the basic skills to collaborating artistically within a larger community, using the university system for incubating concepts in hybrid art, translating it into further funding for development. In essence, we're asking you, if you're undergrad or if you're in education, start now. There's no reason not to follow those passions or that dream or that project, and there are um, uh, support systems in place that uh, we think are underutilized if only because um, they're not uh, well enough established or people, you, people feel uh, unqualified to go for it. But we make the argument that start now. The inception of STE, uh, Clay has been working on uh, for years um, and he started undergrad and that's how we were able to continue. And so that project we would, uh, that workshop rather, we would love to bring to you. Our third is devising a project to define your mission. Founding SDE members will take you through the history of our inception, a devised project created by Richard Brown's adaptation of the tectonic theater project process and show you how we used collaborative creation to define our mission. We will teach you basic elements of the devising process and show you how that can be used to define core values and roles in a young theater company or college cohort. Um, one thing that I value about STE is that we are goal oriented and goal first. And one of our, uh, uh, um, uh, one of the things we always try to do in every project is begin with what do we need and what can you give and um, allowing people to uh, specify and individualize the support systems they need in place to be able to deliver a product and uh, a shared goal and collaboration. Um, uh, in the coming weeks, you will be able to find more about our workshops on our website at www.stensemble.org. Uh, www and if you would like to collaborate with us, please contact me at ce at stensemble.org and we would love to engage with you. Um, I'm just gonna take a second to see if I can uh, if there are any questions on our feed, uh, um, this has always been a very exciting um, uh, project to be a part of. Uh, I, I started just as a, an artist, as a theater, as, a, as an actor, and um, it's engaged me fully. And I'm, I have to say, I, the, the art that I've created with Spectrum Theater Ensemble has been uh, more profound and life-changing for, for me and seeing other people grow and, and growing in myself. Um, it doesn't look like we have any questions, uh, but uh, if you would uh, bear with us, we uh, have another uh, conference starting in just a little bit at 4.30. Um, 
and uh, 